right, everyone, welcome to Clocking Low Pressure Gas. And um, what I'm referring to here is we are firing a gas fired appliance and we're seeing how much gas goes to it. And we're measuring that through the gas meter to make sure that we don't have more, we're sending too much or too little to the actual appliance. So, what is clocking? Well, that was basically it. What we're doing is we're looking at a gas meter. We're measuring the amount of gas that goes through that meter and eventually gets to an appliance. So I'll throw the definition up here on the top right. That's our final goal. This is going to take a couple of formulas. It's not too, not too difficult, but um, we'll put those two formulas together to figure out the amount of energy being used. Now, where do we start? First thing is the flow rate formula. And this simply measures the amount of flow through the gas meter. What we want to do is we want to get this to an hour because everything is rated in BTUs per hour or kilowatts per hour. Now, cubic feet per hour, written as CFH, is what you might get, or cubic meters per hour, written as meters cubed per hour, is the other one. That's what the result is in a flow rate, depending on the type of meter we're measuring through. Now, the formula for flow rate is simply this. We got 3600, which is the number of seconds in an hour. Because remember, we're going to translate or get this to per hour. And then we got to measure through what's called a test dial. That's on the meter. And in the bottom left-hand side, it's the two dials down there. We're going to measure how long it takes for those things to go around. What we're going to get is what's called a number of seconds per revolution. So how long does it take for those two things to go around? That's a number of seconds per revolution. But we're not going to sit there for an entire hour. We've got to go back to our 3600 number, and that's what we're doing. Okay? We're translating it to one hour. Now, there's a bigger picture of the meter. And there you go, the four top dials. They're what's called the consumption dials. All right? They're used by the gas utility company in order to measure what they need how much consumption is going on in a particular building or, or place or area. That's not what we're dealing with. What we're dealing with is these two guys down on the bottom. These are the test dials. That's what we use. Okay? And those test dials are used by us to determine how much gas is going through. You can see one is a two cubic foot, the other is a half a cubic foot. Right? We use whichever one works for us, whichever one's moving at a good pace, not too fast or not too slow. But that's how we'll deal with this. All right, let's move that over. And what we'll do is just go through an example. There you go. So it's going to take 24 seconds for one revolution of that two cubic foot test dial. And what that means is every 24 seconds, that appliance is using two cubic feet of gas. So here's your flow rate formula. Put that down again. All right, there we go. And now what we're going to do is go and put the numbers in there. So 3,600 times two divided by, and the number of seconds revolution is 24. Put all those numbers into your calculator, and what you end up getting is 300 cubic feet per hour. That's how much is going through the meter going to the appliance. But we don't know what the value of the gas is there, or the heat energy value. we got to add one more, more concept, and that is the input. So the input is equal to the flow rate, and we add another number called the calorific value. What we're going to use here is natural gas with a calorific value of 1,000, 1,000 BTUs for every cubic foot. So what we calculated already was the number of cubic feet that went through. Now we just got to say how much heat energy does each cubic foot have, and we're going to say 1,000. That's a basic number for natural gas. So here's the formula. There's the flow rate part. Okay. And then you add, just add the calorific value in at the end. So, let's plug the numbers in. 3,600, the test dial was 2, 
the number of seconds per revolution was 24. And now the calorific value was 1,000 BTUs per cubic foot for a total of 300,000 BTUs. That's how much heat energy is going to that particular appliance per hour when it's firing. All right, that's it. The next video is going to show a couple more examples, uh, maybe dealing with cubic meters and, and maybe kilowatts, just to kind of switch things up a bit. But that's the basics of it. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Appreciate it. That's it. That's the end. And uh, hopefully we'll see you around. Watch some more. Thanks.